so power book 2 season 2 ended with the debut of a very familiar face rap man started the role as theo rollins the brother of davis mclean one of the lead characters on the show that's obviously played by method man well as season three started we had a new theo rollins it wasn't red man no more and a lot of fans were like yo power book what's going on y'all really don't do things like this well method man revealed what happened on the breakfast club he said you really want to know why Apparently, Red Man didn't want to get the jab, aka the COVID vaccination. At least that's what I heard. Did I talk to Red Man about it? No. Stuff like that don't need to be said. He's not the first or the last person that they'll probably happen to. So there you have it. Red Man was replaced because he didn't want the COVID vaccination. The baby recently thanked 50 Cent for being an OG, a mentor, a friend. Most importantly, standing by his side during a really difficult time. Happy G-Day to the GOAT, bro. I tell you all the time, words can't express how much I appreciate the relationship I got with you. Since the day I met you, you done gave me a lifetime worth of game and motivation. You put your arms around me at one of my lowest points, treated anything of mine like it was yours, treated anybody attached to me like family, showed me how to navigate through the BS the right way, real one with plenty sense don't take yourself lightly bro you are a walking blessing i know anybody with the pleasure of knowing you can vouch for that if they don't f them and everybody that love them i tell you once a month you the last role model i got left keep dominating the globe i'm studying on a daily love for life see you soon Fat Joe is opening it up about the day where he realized it's literally life or death. In a new interview with Men's Health, Fat Joe said he went to Big Pond's funeral and he felt like Ebenezer Scrooge said, like, I seen me. And I'm looking over at Pond's daughter. She was the same age as my daughter. I said, yo, you got to lose weight. Otherwise, you are out of here. Reportedly, Fat Joe has lost over 200 pounds over the years but this process wasn't an easy one fat joe described losing his right hand big pun at age 28 due to a heart attack as the most complex rubik's cube you could ever 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 try to figure out and that it led to him dealing with his own depression in his own weight loss journey said when you're fighting yourself there isn't a wall high enough that you can build there isn't an island you can go to there isn't a place you can go to where you get away from it because you are fighting your mind. You wake up and then the minute you think about it, your brain sends you a message to say, we are not supposed to be happy. And then you fall right back into depression. Nowadays, a much smaller fat Joe credits artists like Lizzo for embracing their beauty. And though he's lost weight, the name fat Joe ain't going anywhere anytime soon. Although I've gotten health conscious on another level, it wouldn't make sense to change it. It's my brand. It's what I built. What's up, everybody? It's yours truly. I'm the one and only. I'm your boy, Ferro. If you are enjoying the great quality content, make sure you put yourself in position to get more of your boy. For music news, updates, and commentary, make sure you're following and subscribe to me on Facebook and YouTube, and it's Mr. Teleferro. For basketball news, highlights, and commentary, make sure you're following and subscribe to me on Facebook and YouTube at Hoops Pharaoh. It's free 99 to you. It truly means the world to me. Let's run these numbers up. I appreciate the time, love, and support.